Adobe Premiere Rush is a video editing software available on iPad and some other tablets and is free to use up to a point. Let's import some videos and overview the app workflow. Hi, this is Gabriel from Lovelyscape and you are about to learn something today. When you import your videos, they are added automatically on the timeline on the same track with audio enabled. The audio form from the video is not separated from the main track though. But in this case, we are going to disable it because we are gonna add some music later. Let's start with the pricing for the premium feature. Premiere Rush is equivalent to 6 euros a month in my country, but the prices might differ from country to country and the package includes some other Adobe apps as well. Now let's go over the program options, shall we? I will try to keep it short and to the subject. We have the classic transition, which you can apply directly to a video which will cover the beginning and the end of the video. Next on the right sidebar, we have the built-in presets and color grading. You can select the desired presets and then you can carry on editing the basics from exposure, contrast, highlights, shadows, temperature and tint, vibrance and saturation. The advanced tab has faded film, sharpening and vignetting. I hope I didn't miss anything. Now let me fast forward some basic color grading on the other videos I imported to see what we can do. Following the basic editing in Premiere Rush on iPad, we can create multiple video tracks like in any other programs. You can adjust the start and the end of your clip by dragging the edges. The next thing I wanna show you is the ability to fast forward and slow down a video. Basically, you can modify the speed of a clip partially or the whole range. In our case, we left selected the whole range. The next tab to look into is the audio. The audio tab is very basic and you have only the clip volume. If you want advanced features, you need to have premium content unlocked. What about transforming a video? That is slightly more complex than the audio tab, where you can zoom into the clip, set the X and Y positions, rotation and opacity. Moreover, you can also crop the video as per your like. Now let's get into the first tab, the graphics. Under the graphics you have three categories. Titles transition graphics and overlays. Each of the category has a large amount of options. However, be aware that the majority of those are actually locked for premium users only, which again you need to pay for a monthly or yearly subscription. Let's grab a basic title which is free and drag into the timeline. We do have a few options to modify the title with fonts, style and character settings and even more, you can change individual words or letters the colors. Now let's jump to overlays. Well, same as titles, many are subscription based, but it does have quite a few useful free overlays though. The best ones such as subscribe, bell notification and so on for content creators are subscription based. But what about transition graphics? They are quite unique, but in my opinion, easy to get recognized alongside many other creators using the same transitions just too specific in my opinion. Now let me drop a music bomb from the YouTube audio library which is free to use under their license. Warning, loud volume is coming. The next thing is exporting. Well if you're looking to export 4K, this is not your lucky day. You can, but you need a monthly subscription to the program. The best you can do on the free version is 1080p match frame rate, frame rate, which in this case is 60 frames per second. So, my personal opinion, if you are looking for a free app for your iPad to edit your videos, then this is a very solid choice. Limited indeed, but you can work with it. However, unless you need something specific from the premium feature or some other apps in the package, I feel the monthly subscription a bit too much for its use. As an instance, I am mainly using the Luma Fusion. I paid once for it and I can use it full for life. All these videos you see on my channels are edited on Luma Fusion on my iPad. But this doesn't mean you have to remove the Premiere Rush from the equation. I just feel that there are more than a few options missing from the program, wherever free or premium, such as advanced color grading. And according to the information I found online, I just wanted to double check it. There are no keyframes in version 1.0. Well, I couldn't find any. Premiere Rush can be used for basic editing and that's it. In my personal opinion, 
with the best option to unlock some extra features on their monthly subscription. This is not an affiliate video. Thank you very much for watching the video. If you found this useful, please drop us a like and a subscribe for more similar content. I hope to see you next time.